Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. So today we get to take a look at the all new Lexus RX 350 Premium. Huge shout out to Hendrick Lexus Northlake for providing this all new SUV for me today. Check out their website, that link is down in the description. The 350 that you see behind me is finished off in caviar and has a list price right around $48,000. Underneath the hood for this all new Lexus model, this has a 2.4 liter four cylinder turbocharged engine paired to the eight speed automatic transmission. This pumps out 275 horsepower, 317 pound feet of torque. That power sent through the all wheel drive system. This weighs in right around 4,000 pounds. It'll do zero to 60 in six and a half seconds, has a top speed of 124 miles an hour. It also has a fuel capacity of 14 and a half gallons. You'll expect to see around 22 miles per gallon in the city, 29 out on the highway. This also has a wheelbase of 105.9 inches. Its overall length is 183 and a half. It has a width of 73.4 and a height of 65.4 inches. As we make our way to the exterior styling now for this all new NX350, let's start off with the Lexus badge front and center. It's also the forward facing sensor. So it's nice to see that integration so it doesn't break up the rest of this grill which has plenty of cutouts, provide a lot of cooling to that engine with a nice design within the hourglass surround, which is also finished off in that dark gray. Now there's also parking sensors, and this even has LED headlights, DRLs, and turn signals with the very crisp point in that DRL, very iconic for the Lexus models. In the lower section is the LED fog lights, along with some more gloss black trim. There's even three cutouts in the very lower section to provide even more cooling. And then for the lines coming down the hood, there's actually two. There's one that separates and stops right in the middle, and the other one works its way to the top section basically of that grill, going all the way to the other side. It blends in nicely with that hourglass design. And for the side, this has a set of 18 inch wheels with that two-tone design, multi-spoke pattern to them. You can see some plastic trim for the fender flares as well as the lower side skirt there. Now this has a set of body colored side mirrors with some chrome accents and the integrated turn signal is on the far edge. This even has a sunroof with the roof racks. There's more chrome trim surrounding all of the windows. And there's some nice lines that run down the side. There's a line just at the height of the door handle it tapers up just above the rear door handle there, and then there's several lines splitting off around the door handles for that rear fender arch. Definitely gives it a great look. That crisp line works its way to the rear end here, where this even has the body colored spoiler with the integrated third brake light. Wiper blade is in the lower section. This has LED taillights with the LED connector bar. It runs right through that power lift gate, which is pretty awesome to see. Now this has a backup camera with all these sensors. There's even some more plastic trim in the lower bumper. And with the towing package, which this model has, it can tow right around 2,000 pounds. So if you have some smaller trailers, you could hook them up to this, which is nice to see. Now, as we work our way to the cargo area, I can use the button on the key fob or the one that's just to the right of that backup camera. And as you can tell right now, there's a few items back here, but there is plenty of room for anything that you'd like to place. There's a net over on that driver's side, along with some tie down hooks, so you can safely secure any items you may have. You can even adjust and install this removable cover. So it's kind of basically that new cover in a sense. You can place it on both sides to hide any items that you may have. Up underneath the floor, if I open this up, look at the amount of additional storage space that you have. You could place groceries, any larger items that you have up underneath the floor to keep them from further rolling around. And you can also fold down the back seats. I could pretty much reach them from the back so I can pull on that tab and push that seat all the way down with both of them folded. That gives you a lot more interior space, especially for the size of this SUV. Now for the power lift gate, you can close and lock it. The one on the left side will just close it. And as we work our way to the back seats now, the door handles actually don't move. Basically, you just have to pull on the lever on the inside of the door handle, and that will open up this door. Now for the interior, everything is pretty much black. There's black leather with the silver stitching. There's the window control along with lock and unlock. A little bit of storage in that lower section. This model also has the 10 speaker audio sound system. Very nice trim pieces surround that upper speaker. And this is the all new design for the release handle. So if you grab the grab handle, you can push on this button and that is how you can exit, which is pretty cool to see. Now that black leather works its way to the interior. Very clean design for these seats. 
And at five foot 10, it's not a high SUV, so it's very easy to enter. There's a storage pocket behind both front seats, two air vents along with some auxiliaries so you can charge electronics from the back seat. And again, at my height, I actually have around two or three inches above my head. So it's a more of a compact SUV, I'll call it, but it's still spacious for full size adults. And then right in the middle, there is the armrest. So I can pull this down. It reveals two cup holders along with that armrest if you need it. And there's a pretty good amount of a visibility for your backseat passengers. A little bit bulky of a pillar there, but it is very easy to see around, of course. And as we work our way to the front seats now, this door panels finish off just like the rear with the addition of all the window controls, the memory seating adjustments, even the side mirrors, which are power folding. And then for the front leather seats, they have a nice design to them with all the perforations. They are automatic. All those adjustments are down on the side. It's nice to see that these are finished off in gloss black. A lot of vehicles have aluminum for those, but they hide and blend in very nicely. And then to enter the front seats, it's just as easy as those back seats. And then with the steering wheel, completely finished in solid leather, has a nice design to it with all the brush trim. But let's fire this all new 350 up with my foot on the brake. That button is over on the right side and we can bring this to life. And looking at the gauge cluster, you'll see on the far right is the engine temperature along with the fuel gauge. Right in the middle is the tack along with what gear you're in and miles per hour. And on that far left, you can go through a lot more info using these buttons over on the left side of the steering wheel. So all these controls, there's also volume and Bluetooth controls. So currently it's showing your G-force meter along with your acceleration and your braking. Now if I scroll down, there's the gear position that you can monitor. There's also a blank page. And if I scroll back up, there's also some more information for the engine you can see along with the eco meter, your distance till empty, along with your average speed. And then you have your fuel economy as well along with a live readout. Now I can scroll over and pull up the compass, pull up the music when you have that on. There's also the adaptive cruise and then any messages that may appear. So not a whole lot of information, but you have everything that you need to go through. And then over on the right side of the steering wheel is the cruise control settings along with adaptive cruise, lane keeping assist, there's even mode, and then some tuning just underneath that. And this even has steering wheel mounted paddle shifters, which are finished off in more of that brush trim. Now over on the left side of the steering wheel, you can release the fuel cap along with the rear lift gate. There's even a little bit of storage if you need to use that. There's piano black surrounding those along with the one air vent. And then as we work our way to the center, we have this all new um, infotainment system that has a lot of info to go through. On this left side, these are all presets. So you can go into your navigation along with your audio, go to your phone when you have that paired. There's even the vehicle information. So you can go into the driver assistance, go through all the standard safety features, which are available for this model. You can go through the all wheel drive system, see where the power is being sent, monitor your TPMS, which is nice. And the last one is settings. So you can go through all this information just depending on how you'd like to set it up and to have it the way that you'd like to. So it's nice to have all of that. And underneath that, as you can tell, all of these are currently up at the moment. They're within the screen. On this left side is where you'd like the air to go. This even has heated and ventilated seats. So you can quickly adjust those along with the heated steering wheel. You can go into the climates too to monitor all of that information. If I push on these six buttons here, you can even look at what's frequently used along with your comfort and convenience, and then look at more of that driver assistance as needed. You can sync the AC too, and underneath that is all of those controls. So the temperature dials on this left side, fan speeds right in the middle, you can shut it off. But what's nice about this is there's actually a physical button for power and volume along with the defrosters, even the heated side mirrors. Two air vents are just underneath that. And I like how this trim piece curves all the way over to this driver's side, leading to the gloss black surrounding or the piano black surrounding the all new shifter. So it has a nice design to it with more of that leather. And then the driving modes are also integrated within this design. So if I turn this to the left, that is for eco mode, turning it to the right is for sport mode. And then just by pushing on it, it will go back into normal. So you have those three different driving modes. This also has a wireless charging pad down at the bottom, along with some auxiliaries and a little bit of space where you could place some items if you need to. You can also open this up too, where you have some hidden storage. Pretty cool to see that the wireless charger is that cover, which is a nice integration. Now there's two cup holders on one side, and then for this all new shifter, in order to put this into reverse, I'll simply just push this to the left and up. It will go back into that position, but as you can tell, it is in reverse right now. 
where there's a few different angles just depending on what you'd like to see along with the guidelines so you can adjust those as needed. Now drive is going to be the same just in the opposite direction and if I pull it straight back from there that is for the manual settings so you can use these paddles as needed and then park is located just behind that. Now behind all that we have the uh, traction control along with an off-road setting. There's the auto hold, the engine start stop, a downhill assist control, and then the electronic parking brake. And for the center armrest it is finished off in leather. You can actually open it up both ways. So just depending on if your driver or your passenger needs to gain access to that, that is pretty awesome to see. And then the glove box has all the extra space that you need to place items. And like I mentioned earlier, this does have a sunroof. We have the manual adjusting sunshade to open and close, along with the sunroof adjustments up in the middle. There's some call buttons, even the touch sensitive dome lights. And this also has a sunglass holder too, which is pretty convenient to have. Now that we're behind the wheel for this all new NX350, this is a really cool smaller size SUV. If you're not looking for something that is much larger, of course. Now I just got out of the RX350. That is a little bit bigger as far as wheelbase and length goes. A little bit more room in the back seats. Not significant, but if you're going to be using the back seats a lot more, maybe go with that model. This is still plenty full for the smaller size that it is. So honestly, it is a good option just depending on what you like. Exterior styling is going to be different. And I'm just comparing those since I just got out of that model. So with this model though, I think it's very nice. Now the interior has an update to it compared to some of the other previous Lexus models. We have the larger infotainment system. There's no heads up display on this model, which is interesting to see. I'm not sure if that's an option or not. And then for the gauge cluster, it doesn't have all of the new information not all of the new buttons are on the steering wheel either. So hopefully for the next year model, they will integrate all of that further technology into the system. But for this model that we're in right now, I think it is very, very nice. I think this infotainment system really livens up this interior. I've been in a lot of the Lexus models and I wasn't a huge fan. I like Lexus, but I wasn't a huge fan of some of the older technology that I felt that they had in some of their cars. There wasn't too many that had either touchscreen or you know you had that little mouse pad down below. And so with this model, it eliminates all that, gives it more of an upscale look in my opinion. And as far as just driving this, putting a few miles on it, it's very, very comfortable. Lexus's drive very nice. This is a comfortable, quiet vehicle, even with cars passing. It's very well insulated, so I definitely like how they ride. But if we pop it into the manual setting now, we can twist it into sport mode and we can use these paddle shifters. Now it's pretty cool that this model has paddle shifters. You might not be using them that often or even forget about them in a vehicle like this. But if you need them to downshift, get a little bit more power, they're pretty responsive. And even though we have the four cylinder engine, it's pretty adequate especially for the weight of this. As far as handling goes, we have the all wheel drive system, which is nice. And we'll give it another acceleration since we're still in the manual setting. We'll go down to third gear, just give it a mild acceleration. I love how smooth the power is. That wasn't a crazy acceleration. This is pretty quick for what it is, but I love how smooth the power delivery is. And as we come up to another right-hand turn, you can definitely feel the weight of it. You know, it's an SUV, it's not a sports car. Uh, I think it weighs a pretty good amount too for its size, uh, but it handled that turn well, just going at a normal rate of speed. So, you know, no spirited driving for this SUV, but it takes these turns very nicely. And you can get a look from this, this angle, what it's like to be behind the wheel and hopefully you can tell just how comfortable and quiet this is. I like the fact too that we have all of the standard safety features, even the adaptive cruise. So that makes it a little bit nicer if you're driving this every single day as this would be an excellent daily driver. It just gives you that much more comfort in being behind the wheel and putting a lot of seat time in this Lexus. And I know I mentioned earlier the amount of space. It's very practical. I love that room behind or underneath the rear cargo floor. 
That is an excellent use of space. Now, I don't think this has a spare tire. So of course, you either have the spare tire or you have that amount of interior room. And we're up to speed. Paddles are definitely very responsive, which is impressive to see, being that this is not a performance-oriented vehicle. But they are very responsive. And I think that is going to wrap it up for my walk around review and test drive behind the wheel of the latest generation for the Lexus NX350 Premium. Once again, a huge shout out to Hendrick Lexus Northlake for providing this SUV for me today. Check out their website. Also give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it and consider smashing that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our daily uploads. I will see you all in the next video.